Shrugging her shoulders, Tanaka said, It's not something that could be understood even if you were to hear it. As you can hear, the station just repeats a series of numbers on repeat. Though, it'll change occasionally, but it's based on some unknown schedule. They were quiet, hoping that Tanaka would unveil the mystery of the number station. Though we don't know what's being communicated, there is one thing that we do know, Tanaka said, controlling the slow reveal of information to improve the suspense. I've been informed that this particular number station is being broadcasted by Star and Moon, and if you follow the signal, then it'll lead to a shelter. Kawa's eyes opened upon realizing something. That's what the beeping is for then. You use the other device to figure out how close you are to the source, in order to locate the shelter. Exactly, Tanaka pointed at the woman. Even though I don't know what's being communicated, I can still head towards the source. Ayaka grinned at Kawa for figuring it out. We should get going. I want to reach the shelter before it gets dark. I've been lucky with not running into any of those things, so I'd rather not gamble anymore." Tanaka said as she pressed the button that turned on the engine. The four of them began heading back to the rear of the armored vehicle. One of you can sit in front with me, Tanaka said at the last minute. Ayaka looked at the others who also were checking out one another to determine who be sitting at the front. I'm honestly good with sitting in the back, Kawa said. I get the feeling it's safer. Also, I packed away some food that I can access easily. She grinned at the mention of the food. Hearing that they'd be eating, both Mizuki and Masio appeared eager to get some. Sensing that no one wanted to sit in the front, Ayaka looked at Tanaka. I guess it'll be me? Just head around to the other side and get in then. Tanaka nodded. Have fun, Mizuki said before quickly making her way to the back. I see that she's thinking more about the food than her friend. Ayaka shook her head before giggling. I can't really blame her, considering we haven't eaten anything for so long. Ayaka quickly made her way around the front of the armored vehicle. Reaching the door, she was confused for a moment about how to open it. Seeing a handle, she grabbed it, but the door didn't open. It took her a second to see a sign that pointed a curved arrow with the words, Open, on it. Opening the door, Ayaka saw Tanaka grinning. Took you a moment to get that open, huh? Tanaka laughed. Blushing due to the soldier laughing at her, Ayaka awkwardly climbed up the small foot ladder. Use the handle on the side. It'll make it easier for you to climb up, Tanaka suggested, pointing at the handle on Ayaka's left side. Grabbing the handle, Ayaka was finally able to crawl into a large vehicle. It's designed to travel across a variety of terrains, so it takes a couple of times to get used to it. Tanaka laughed. Once Ayaka was comfortably sitting on the passenger seat, she looked around. There isn't a seatbelt. Tanaka observed Ayaka's movements. Looking at the soldier, Ayaka said in surprise, There isn't a seatbelt? Shaking her head. What reason would there be for a seatbelt in a military vehicle? Tanaka chuckled at the idea. These things are designed to handle combat environments where you may need to quickly get in and get out. Having a seatbelt would make things more dangerous for you. Ayaka watched as Tanaka pulled on some controls which made the vehicle vibrate more. Soon, 
He was moving forward while bouncing around slightly. Just hang on. This thing is meant to move a little as it's driving. There's a handle to your front on the side that you can hold on to if you need it. Tanaka pointed while keeping her eyes forward. It took a moment for Tanaka to navigate out of the gas station area of the convenience store. But soon, they were back on the road. The soldier moved the control on the side again, causing another shutter to run through the vehicle before it began to pick up speed. Aren't you worried that the sound of this thing will attract those monsters? Ayaka asked, slightly concerned 